Hello everyone, today I decided to make a video on how to install and update uh, single player project uh, Legion V2. Uh, this is a follow up from my first video which was 8 months ago. And now, well I'm gonna show you how to do this, it's not very complicated, follow what I do and you should be able to set up your new private server at home fully functional and updated to the last version and I will also show you how to keep it updated. Anyway, thanks for watching, enjoy the video and like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. So first you need to go to your browser and go to the official webpage of Ashman Core SPP and in the middle you're going to see a game server category added to the Discord server and what you want to do is you want to click to the Discord link. And then when the invite page has opened up, you click accept invite. Meanwhile, if your Discord has not... Okay, if your Discord is eventually going to update or if it, it's fully working, you are going to end up on the welcome page of the server. And if you see, uh, for anyone who is new and has joined the Discord server, there is a hashtag rules. You want to click this. And you want to go down and click on all the emoji icons under the last SPP bot post. After you click these, you are going to see all the different servers about Classics and Battle for Azeroth and SPP Legion V2 and basically everything that the single player project discord server has to offer. Now you want to, after you have accepted this and you have clicked the links down, you want to go to news and you want to scroll up and you're going to see this post that's uh, where it says update or VBS, you want to download this. Then after you're done, you want to go back to the page and you want to open the single player project, the Legion V2 previews. And when you scroll down, you're going to see two links. One is a torrent P2P connection based uh, download and the other one is from Google Drive. Now you download the repack from Google Drive or from the torrent and when it's downloaded, you want to have the update VBS which you downloaded from Discord and you also want to have the SPP Legion V2 RAR file or zip file for that matter. And then what you want to do is you want to open Chrome and you want to download the, con the config configurator. I'm going to post the, the link for this under the description of the video. What this does is basically allows you to fix the configuration after you have set up the server so you don't have duplicates or you don't have missing lines and the server runs properly. Now what you want to do next is extract. Now this is going to take some time. So I'm gonna cut it here. Okay now that your repack has extracted from the zip archive what you want to do is you want to copy the updater VPS that you downloaded earlier from the Discord server. You want to copy it inside the folder installation folder from the repack. And then you want to run it. And this is going to take a few minutes to download and install the actual updates. Okay, after the server has updated and has imported the data to the database, you can press any key to finish the process. 
Now the first thing we want to do is to go and start the database. After the web page opens you can close it, you don't need the web page right now. And then we are going to move to the SPP configurator. We want to extract the content. Now here comes the, the little bit more tricky part. From what I tried with this application, it does work, but it takes a little bit of playing around with it to get it to work properly. So the best thing I found is to just copy the configuration first to the server. It's in the server's folder. And then run the actual configurator. Now the con the configurator tool is going to tell you that the uh, you need to find the paths for both the server folder and as well as the World of Warcraft client folder. So you do that by going into General App Settings, clicking SPP folder and basically selecting your SPP directory where you extracted the server. Now for the wall config location you basically pick up your client uh, folder. It's usually either in games or whatever you have uh, your World of Warcraft Legion client installed. Okay, after you have picked up those, you want to check your configuration. And the application is most likely going to tell you that their issues were found. Now, here comes the tricky part from what I have understood working with this application the last few hours. You have to kind of reload and set defaults. then export and then check the configuration again and redo that a few times until you finally have uh, and you told this set the IP and set the build of the game then set defaults then save and export again and check the configuration until you see no known problems were found. It's a little bit tricky, but it works. Okay, after, since we are already done with this, you can close this uh, after you have saved and export. It should be all right. And then we can continue to basically booting up the server. We continue by starting the BNet server. And then we start the world server bat. The first boot and locate of the server may take some time. On some systems, some people have noticed that the server takes between 5 and 20 minutes to boot. For me, sometimes it's instant, for sometimes it takes 1 to 2 minutes. It really, really depends. Okay, now that the server has started, we can launch the client. The login uh, profile for the GM account, it's ADM at ADM and the password is also ADM. Now we are going to create a new character 
and play a little bit around, see what the update 8 brought, the new scrolls. Okay, now to get to the Game Master Island where all the new vendors are and uh, specifically made scrolls for unlocking all the transmog sets, all the illusions, you basically, uh, let me finish the quest here, not to update that, basically you tap dot, dot tele gm island. And here you have the Clerk GM support NPC. And in GM goods you have scrolls for everything. Basically you have scrolls to skip starter areas for Pandarian, Vorgan and uh, uh, Demon Hunters. You have a level boost scroll with items. You have a Dead Nine Skipper scroll. You have other important quest items as well as uh, legendaries and uh, artifact weapons now my f favorite of all the scrolls it's most likely the transmog set scroll because if you do it at level 20 you can basically unlock all the uh, transmog sets on start and you can basically start a fresh character with any luck you want As well as the weapon illusion enchantment un unlock. And basically, when you go to items and you click on the enchantment, you have all the weapon illusions unlocked. It's pretty good. You can set up the XP rates, you can basically change everything, and most of the story works as well. It's one of the best. Uh, repacks available out there. I have not seen any other repack to have as many as many good features as SPP Legion has. It's pretty good. Okay, thanks for watching. If you enjoy my content and if this video was helpful to you, please uh, consider liking and subscribing to my channel. 